welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel, the owner and creator here at The Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. For today's video, I pulled more items out of my stash in my kitchen, and actually a couple things out of my stash in my garage at home, and gave them some makeovers for spring. They all turned out really cute. I can't wait to show them to you. And so without further ado, let's get to today's projects. Project one is technically three projects, but I am going to be painting all of these guys with the same color and finishing them with the same wax. So I am just going to go ahead and group them all into project one. I am painting these guys with DIY's beautiful dark gray called old school. I absolutely love this color and I am painting them all the same and finishing them the same because on Pinterest I keep seeing pictures where uh, for Easter they have a lot of white blossoms and then kind of concrete and uh, galvanized metal and I think it's such a pretty look and I really wanted these guys to kind of portray that look a little bit so I'm going for kind of a concrete look uh, and so that's why I'm starting out with this dark dark gray uh, on these birds and and bunny so i'm just giving these each two good coats of this old school uh, i'm pouncing on the paint on the birds just because i want a little bit of a textured finish and then for the rabbit i'm just using a smaller brush because he is so very detailed uh, that i had to work the paint kind of down into all the cracks and crannies on him Once they were completely dry, it was time to seal them and I chose white wax for this and I'm going directly over the paint with the white wax, no clear wax in between this time. I really wanted to lighten this paint up a little so that it did look somewhat like concrete. So that is what I am going for here and I am just wiping or brushing that white wax on with my soft bristle brush and then very, very gently wiping back some excess with that shop towel. Now the thing is you don't want to rub too hard otherwise you will end up rubbing your paint back off of your piece. Uh, the birds weren't so bad because they were kind of a porous uh, clay type material uh, but I had to be especially careful on the bunny. Uh, for some reason the uh, paint was a lot easier to wipe off of him and there were a couple of spots where I ended up going back in with just a little bit more of the old school color uh, to touch up a couple places and then very gingerly uh, putting a little bit more white wax over that to seal it. Now just a reminder that I do carry these beautiful paints on my website at www.theeclecticcottagespokane.com as well as the full line of their waxes, top coats, and all the other goodies. I absolutely love how these little animals turned out. They will be a great addition to my spring displays. is a more recent purchase. I actually started this tray quite some time ago and meant to put it in one of the last videos I did, but unfortunately I just didn't quite get it finished in time. So I decided to add it in for today. So this is a resin piece. Now what's funny is I always wash all my stuff in my sink uh, when I get it. 
And as I was painting this, which I am using DIY's beautiful color Apothecary, such a gorgeous spring color. Uh, but anyway, while I was painting it, it kept leaking water. And I realized there was just a little bitty hole in this that must have soaked in some of the water when I washed it. And so I actually had to sit and shake, shake, shake this thing to get all of that blasted water out so it stopped leaking on me so that I could finish up my painting. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of a funny story. So I gave this two coats of the DIYs Apothecary and then once that was completely dry I did go in with some 220 grit sandpaper and do some distressing. I just really wanted to bring some of that beautiful detail out in this piece. Then it was on to decoration and for this I am using up more of the transfer set I had on hand called Mystic Hydrangea. This is from Redesign with Prima. I thought these would be a perfect complement not only to this tray but they'll go really well with the two little pots that I recently did with the uh, lilacs out of this set. So I just picked out my transfers, cut them out, figured out where they were going to go, laid them down, pressed them into the paint, and then using the transfer stick, just rub, rub, rubbed uh, the transfer down while I took that piece of vellum back. This is such a simple process, and yet you get such a fantastic result using these transfers. I absolutely love them. Once I had all my transfers down, I did go ahead and burnish them, which I completely forgot to film again. Uh, and by burnishing, what I mean is taking that piece of vellum right there that I have in my hand and rubbing that over all of the transfers, basically to make sure you've got great adhesion and that you don't have any air bubbles in your piece. Then it's time to seal my paint and for this I chose DIY's Big Top. It's a very durable sealer so if somebody wants to use this to put uh, candles or candle holders in it should stand the test of time. I love how this came out. I hope you guys do too. I don't know about you guys, but I tend to collect wood scraps and I have a huge pile of them in my little storage area here. So I decided to grab out a couple pieces and make them into signs for spring. I started by painting one of the scraps in this beautiful blue called Prom Queen by DIY. And the other one I am using Crinoline by DIY. So I gave them two coats over the dark portion and then one coat coat over the back and once they were dry I did take some this is 220 grit sandpaper but it's been used a lot so it's not actually uh, very gritty anymore but I did do a little bit of sanding a touch of distressing on these and then I moved on to my stamps for the stamps, I'm using the set called Alpha. It's by Redesign with Prima. It's great because it has uppercase and lowercase letters. Uh, and for this first sign, I am doing Hello Spring. So I laid out my stamps where I wanted them. I uh, picked them up with a piece of backer and then I am inking them up with stays on ink in black and then just stamping those onto the board. Once I have my hello done, I had to actually go in with the L a second time and then I put out the word spring, uh, picked those up again with that backer board, just kind of using those marks on it as a guide where I wanted um the top of the uh, letters to be and then inking up my stamps and again I'm very careful when I flip them over because occasionally I'll lose a letter and I don't want to lose it on my sign and have a big black smudge mark <laughs> so I'm careful there and then lay it down and again just with gentle pressure uh, press down each individual letter making sure I get a nice uh, impression with that ink. Once it says hello spring, I left some uh, space between hello and spring so that I could add a pretty little flower. And for this one, I'm using again part of that Mystic Hydrangea set. I thought this was such a pretty little addition to this sign. And then this one is ready for sealing. 
And then I moved on to the crinoline one and I am basically doing the same exact thing with this, uh, except instead of doing hello spring, I decided to say happy spring. Uh, so that's what I'm stamping here. You can see here that my A accidentally fell off the backer, so I just stamped that separately. And then of course I add in another P. And once I have happy down, I go ahead and get out my letters to make spring. And same technique, just uh, spacing out my uh, stamps, picking them up with that backer board, inking them up, laying them down, and then gently uh, pressing down each individual letter uh, so that I make sure and have a good impression. And then it's time to lay down my transfer. For this one, I picked a piece of the Garden Marbles transfer set. This is an older one by Redesign with Prima. I just happen to have a couple more pieces of this one to use. So I thought this would be a perfect addition to the spring sign. The last step is, of course, sealing my signs. And for that, I chose to go with a spray sealer, which I often do uh, when I'm using ink on a sign, uh, just for the simple fact that I don't run the risk this way of accidentally reactivating my paint or uh, smudging my ink at all. So I gave these each one good coat of the spray sealer front and back, and then they're finally done. And I love how they came out. my spring makeovers for today. I hope you liked them and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate that. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would think about subscribing to my channel and then just hit that little notification bell so you don't miss anything. And then don't forget to drop a comment below and let me know which of the projects today was your favorite. For Tuesday's video, uh, I am working on a little cabinet that I got off of Marketplace, and I am hoping to have that finished for Tuesday, so I hope you'll join me for that video. I was really hoping to get more done, you guys, but in all honesty, today is my 50th birthday, and I have had some people stopping by and a few phone calls, and I just really haven't gotten much done, so <laughs> it is what it is at this point, uh, but I hope you'll join me for the cabinet makeover on Tuesday. As a reminder, I just wanted to let you guys know that the paint and products you saw me use today can be purchased through my website at www.theeclecticcottagespokane.com. Just look on the top menu, there's a little thing that says shop and that'll take you right into my store. I carry uh, the DIY paint and products, Sweet Pick and Smoke paint, uh, Roy Cycle Treasures decoupage paper, as well as some Redesign with Prima items. So please go check those out. I so appreciate your orders. They're what help keep this little business of mine afloat. I appreciate it very much. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, I am going out tomorrow night with some friends to celebrate my birthday. So that should be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, anyway, I will see you guys back here on Tuesday. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Bye.